This doesn't take me that long to install. Today I'm going to be installing the rear fenders of the Rocket Bunny kit. We're gonna start here with the passenger side. I've been sitting in the sun all day just so they can have a little bit more flexibility when I am trying to install these onto the car. Um, they have a little more give. I don't know if that's gonna actually work, but I'm hoping it does. Today I'm actually not gonna start cutting uh, these rear fenders just because for rear fenders you have this layer, but then there's also a layer underneath. There's two layers of metal to get through and I really don't feel like dealing with that today. My entire goal for right now is to get these over fenders mounted onto my car. This is also gonna probably be extremely hard to film by myself. I think my starting point for this is going to be to at least get that bottom half mounted first, then I'll start working my way towards the back half and then in the middle. This rear piece fits a lot better than the front fenders fit, so I think I'll have an easier time doing that that way, but we'll see. One way to oh, well that was one way to hold a fender onto your car. Don't judge my tape job. So I taped the fender, and then after I taped the fender, I drilled out that one, that one, and that one. And the point in that is so that I'm able to get this bottom half mounted, and then I don't have to tape. Because a well nut's so big, now at least I have a provision for each starting hole that I can drill these out and then make them bigger. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do. Now I have my starting three holes drilled out and from there I'm going to make the hole a lot bigger because in order to get these to fit, that hole needs to be about that big. My car has these ginormous bullet holes in it, but the reason for that is this little well nut. It will just fit right in there. And in theory, what those should allow me to do now is just be able to bolt my fender straight up to here and just hold it in place while I draw out the rest of the holes on the kit so I can get the whole fender on mounted.
Now when installing these, you don't put a lot of pressure. You just let the bolt screw itself into the well nut and it does its job from there. Like that's just two of them. That's just two of these and it's already actually holding the entire fender in place and I'm able to like, and I'm able to work with it and move it and manipulate the fiberglass however I want it to. I can ensure that it's gonna fit right. I'm doing such a terrible job of filming this, but since the last time I picked up the camera, I drilled out this one. So now it sits, so this is part that I have to cut. This is where the fender wants to sit. And then I also went ahead and drilled out this one so that when this one sits flush, the gas cap will fit. Um, but like I said, this is a rep kit. <laughs> Rep kit means rep fitment. <laughs> Don't be a me. Don't buy a rep kit. Buy the real thing. Save up. Buy it. Don't be me. Because then you get issues like that. You get issues. You get those issues. I am sucking so hard at filming what I am doing right now. So now I have that one in and that one in. My next one I'm going to do is this one, just so I can push this gapping a little better. But dang! Can you see that? It's going to fit, but I'm going to have to use like fiberglass or Bondo to fill that entire gap up, which is going to suck so much, but that's what I get. My fitment around the gas cap sucks. Um, I'm gonna point that out there. Like, but technically, technically speaking, all I have to do now is go in, drill, 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 and and drill, and then that entire fender is on. So it's actually been a few days since I've done anything to this car. This entire side of the car is still stock. Need to get the other fender mounted on here. It's a little difficult to do by myself, but I'm gonna do the best I can in filming as much as I can. Jesus, it would help if I don't break my car or if I would miss. That's a not to do. I missed my fender completely and I went straight into my side skirts. Maybe I should mount this one first. this hole stays correctly because I have such little material there to work with because I drilled so close to the bottom but we'll see. Okay. 